Good morning everyone! I woke up an hour ago, I'm actually still drinking my coffee. Look at my mug by the way. How cute is this? <laughs> so today is very exciting because I'll be doing a little DIY project. I'm not sure if I should call, call it a DIY project if I'm not actually doing it myself. But I'll explain later because um, you can actually do it yourself. I'm just too lazy. No, I'm joking, I'm not. <laughs> I wanted to show you what I picked up from Dior. It's something really cool that um, I wanted to show you because I think many of you might want to pick that one up. And this always happens when I start recording. First, I'll do my makeup. I'm going for a more natural look. Um, so I'll just add some lashes. I'm not even um, going to apply fake eyelashes. I'll just do my lashes. Um, with mascara and then um, yeah I have to still bronze my face because I'm looking a bit pale and that's it all right I did my base my eyebrows so I only have to contour but I wanted to vlog today because I think this vlog will be quite interesting if my DIY project my little DIY project works um, that would be really cool and I wanted to share this with you also, I was feeling a bit chatty, so I thought um, that I'll speak to you guys whilst I'm getting ready. I actually wanted to show you what I picked up in my previous video, but I didn't in my Harrods vlog, which I'm not sure if it's up actually. It might not be up yet, but I wanted to show you what I picked up then. I decided not to because I knew I was going to try and do this DIY project. Um, and I wanted to do a separate video but if that video from Harrods is not up already it will be up soon so I'll keep an eye out it will be probably one of my favorite vlogs oh my god guys so basically I went to Harrods and I haven't been to Harrods for the longest time I added so many items to my Christmas wish list it's insane I literally want to buy so many things you will also see a bag that um currently I'm up and I really want to buy it a Fenty bag. I actually mentioned the bag in one of my previous videos. Um, which one was it? Uh, bags and shoes you should invest in. It's the Fendi Can I F bag. My parents love the bag. I spoke to my uh, mum and my auntie and I, I showed them the bag and they really really loved it um so they really want me to buy it uh i'm just i really love the bag as well i'm just not sure if it's a tr i know it's a trendy bag but i'm just thinking would it be hard to style um because of the monogrammed print in velvet i tried on the bigger size in harrods and I really liked it. However, the only thing I didn't like was that it didn't come with a longer strap. The strap it comes with is so small. So I can't wear it crossbody, which is really annoying. And I would have to buy additional longer strap if I want to wear it crossbody. Because I would love to have the option to wear the bag crossbody. So I don't like to make rush decisions. So I'll probably go try it on a few more times and see... Um, how I like it. I also would love to try on the smaller size. I love buying more classic bags and this is a bit crazy for me but I love it. I love everything Fendi anyway. I really wish I uploaded that vlog earlier before this video because now I want to talk to you about um, what I saw and <laughs> what I want to buy. I also found this amazing dual scarf. I'll try and include a picture somewhere probably here um, so you can see because I know that vlog won't be up. Oh my god I'm so obsessed with this scarf. I really want to buy it but the price tag it is £1,200 for a scarf. And I know it's Dior, I know it's like the most um, stunning scarf. To me, that much for a scarf is a bit insane. But I can't stop thinking about it. I've been actually dreaming, having dreams about this scarf. It is insane. Um, I'll finish off my eyes. I think my camera is dying. So I'll finish off with my makeup and I'll speak to you in a bit. Okay, I just finished with my makeup and my hair. Now I'm about to go out. But I wanted to show you what I picked up from Dior. I showed you this in my previous video. Did you guys guess? <laughs> I picked up the lipstick set. So, what I want to do with this is a belt bag. 
this is my DIY project. This is why I picked this up. This set comes with, let's see how many, I think six. Six lipsticks. You can wear as a clutch bag, um, evening clutch bag. You can also put a chain and wear it as a crossbody bag. I think it will look really cute as a crossbody bag. Uh, but I wanted to do a belt bag. I wanted to show you this in the shades in case you wanted to buy it because the shades are actually really nice. So you can remove that um, whole thing and use it as a uh, makeup bag. But let me quickly show you uh, the lipsticks. So this is the first one which is not really my colour. Um, this is very bright red. I'm not sure if this will suit me. And this is the next shade. This is the dark red. Yeah, I think I'll wear this one a lot because um, I actually love wearing dark reds. I love the fact that you can replace them and put them in this packaging. But you can also, if you carry a smaller bag, you can actually use the smaller packaging. Which I actually really like. It's really cute. Look how cute. It's really cute. I actually really like the small packaging as well. This is probably one of my favourites. It's a really nice pink shade. I've used it already. It's beautiful. Next shade is this um, dark one. It looks almost black but it's dark purple. It's stunning. I love this one as well. It's a matte. Next shade is another red one which is a um, darker red. I mean it's not as bright as the first one but it's not as dark as the second one I showed you. The last one is this gorgeous nude. I think this one will suit everyone and I love it. But this is not a matte. I think this is a satiny finish. I like all of them. I think I'll be using most of the colours apart from the maybe the very bright red and the medium red I won't be using so I might actually give them away or give them to some friends because um, I won't be using those. Plus I have red lipsticks and I don't really wear them. All right, so let's see. I will quickly go and change uh, my clothes and I'll show you what I'll be wearing later. I'm gonna go meet a friend as well in town and I'll bring this to the cobbler first, see what they'll say and if um, he can do it. If not, I'll probably try to go to a tailor as well and see if he can stitch it. And I really, I'm really excited guys. I can't wait to wear this as a belt bag. I think this will look amazing as a belt bag and it will be so unique because not many people will have this. Dior doesn't have any belt bags yet. Uh, I really wish they had belt bags because I'm obsessed with belt bags. I really wanted to get the Gucci belt bags. So hopefully this will work. Fingers crossed. I also forgot to mention that I have some new posters that I want to hang up on the walls. I'll go buy some stickers uh, for like picture frames, uh, the very strong ones that can hold picture frames. Um, I'm really excited to show you them because the prints are actually really cool, such a good quality and I think I briefly mentioned them on my Instagram. So I'll tell you more about them and show you what I picked up from a website called The Senior. I got this amazing one which will go in my wardrobe room and then I ordered actually quite a few. There is a Dandelion one. This one which will go in my wardrobe room as well. This is a ball. Like you can't really see them that well now but I'll hang them up on the wall and then you'll see them later. There is the Eiffel Tower and this beautiful flower. So I can't wait to put these up. message that my H&M order, H&M behind me order is ready to collect in the store. I forgot that I actually ordered stuff online so I'm gonna go and collect my order. So yeah I'm gonna go do that now and I'll tell you what happened with the Dior bag. <laughs> okay guys I finished in Kingston. I left my Dior bag at the tailor. He said he'll call me tomorrow and let me know if they can make it as a belt bag. So I will 
probably vlog tomorrow and let you know if they managed to do it I also picked up my online order from H&M I'll show you what I ordered online when I get home I had a lovely Starbucks and caught up with a friend so <laughs> it's a few days later I just got a call from the tailors and they said they have my bag it's ready and I'm gonna go collect it so fingers crossed they did a good job because <laughs> they didn't send me any pictures actually they didn't call me for a few days and I called them and I was like um, hello I left my Dior bag with you and you didn't call me what's going on <laughs> do you think you would be able to do it and they were like yeah yeah we'll give you a call when it's ready so I didn't hear back from them for a couple of days and now I'm really really scared I do think if you have the right tools you can definitely do it yourself I just decided it would be easier to leave it at the tailors um, because I didn't have the right tools and uh, that's why I didn't want to buy tools <laughs> but um, like needles and stuff but I'll be vlogging from my phone uh, for the rest of the day and uh, yeah I'll just go around town see what's new and uh, actually everything that I'm wearing and also my makeup details will be linked down below in the description box yeah I'll show you my outfit my Dior bag um, ripped jeans like mum jeans from H&M in this Zara uh, jumper I really hope Zara's open okay let's go All right, so I just collected my bag. I can't wait to show you how it looks. It actually looks really nice and I'm really happy. Um, they didn't actually um, stitch it, so I'll show you. They put like studs, so it's more secure and it's looking really lovely. Um, I'm really happy, so I'll show you. I also bought some stuff from Zara, so um, I'll show you everything when I get home. I'm gonna go to Boots and pick up some makeup quickly. Oh, actually, I have to go and look for a belt. I need a plain belt with silver hardware. Oh, sorry. I just got home and I wanted to show you what I picked up from Zara before it's too dark outside. And I also wanted to show you the posters that I was hanging up yesterday. So you can take a better look. And also wanted to tell you how you can get 40% off with my code on their website. So I include short clips of the posters, so you can see all of them, all the names of the posters will be included down in the description box uh, in case you want to buy any of the ones I picked up. I only have two posters which are not up yet, but they'll be going in my closet room and I still need to buy a desk that will go in my wardrobe room. So they will go probably above the desk, that's why I haven't hung them on the walls yet. I'll show you them too as well. You can get an exclusive access to the seniors Black Friday weekend with my code Maria and get 40% off. Handpicked and picture frames are not included but still this is amazing offer so make sure you go and take advantage of that. The offer is also valid from the 21st to the 23rd of November so hurry up. Also make sure you go check out the website guys, it's worth checking out. They give you some really cool ideas of how to pair posters. The way they pair posters is so amazing, like I have to show you the website, I'll quickly show you the website so you can see what I mean. But it's amazing, they give you some inspirations and ideas how to pair them. Okay so this is the website look how they paired all these and if you go to perfect pair or inspiration you can see some really cool ideas of how to pair posters together but look at these they're so girly so pretty i love them 
So for Black Friday, the senior will have, I think, 35% off code on their website from the 24th to the 27th. But you can get better offer with my VIP code Maria and you get 40% off, which is great. Thank you so much, the senior, for collaborating with me. I wouldn't recommend something that I don't like to you guys, so definitely check them out. You can trust me, they're amazing. <laughs> Let me show you what I picked up yesterday from Zara and also show you the belt bag because I didn't show you the belt bag. Okay, it's getting dark, so I better hurry up. I will quickly want to show you the other two posters. This one will be going in my wardrobe room, probably above my desk, which I haven't picked yet, and this one. I think these two together will look really cool. Anyway, I want to show you my belt bag. <laughs> okay, this is the belt bag and this is what they did. I'm really happy with how they did it. They actually put studs instead of stitching it, which is actually more secure. I really like how they did it. This is the inside, so they just put four studs and I will try it on and show you how it looks on. It looks really cool, I'm really happy, so guys. You can do this as well. You can even stitch it. Um, they decided to put studs. Well, I'm not sure if I would have been able to put studs. I was going to stitch it. But I think this is a really cool DIY project. However, if you don't want to do it yourself, you can always bring it to the tailor. <laughs> and they'll do it for you. This will be the most amazing belt bag ever. I'm really happy. So I'll show you how this one looks on. I'll insert some short clips. Then I went to Zara. So basically I saw that my local Zara is finally open. I couldn't believe it. It was a miracle <laughs> and uh, I couldn't resist. So I went to Zara and bought a lot. <laughs> I bought so many things. So I'll start. I'm not sure if I'll be trying on everything because this video will be too long. But let me show you what I picked up. So first I got this card which is handmade and it's in this gorgeous burgundy colour, it's very long and it's quite light actually but I think it will be very warm, I believe this is wool. I have another handmade card from Zara which I've worn so much, it's a camel card. Slightly oversized, I got mine in size small, I could have even bought extra small because this is a bit oversized um, but I love it, I love the colour so much, it's amazing for for and winter, very beautiful color very soft i highly recommend it it was 120 pounds i think um actually it still has tags it's doesn't it have tags oh it doesn't have tags okay i think i removed the tags anyway okay then i wanted to show you this shirt it has really cool print like floral print uh, but it's like winter florals um i really like the colors you can also tie this into a bowl um, but I'm not going to do it now. It's velvet. It's really cool. I really like how it looks on. I actually might try this one on because it looks really cool. Then the next bag. I actually quickly went to Rive Island and picked up this <laughs> card holder. It was £6 but I really liked it because it's glitter and I loved the colours. I don't know I have a YSL one but um, look at all this glitter. Um, yeah. I'm a bit obsessed with glitter. Next, I got this skirt. Checked skirt. In size medium. Actually, this one might be going back because it's big. I didn't try it on. It's very big, so I would probably size down with this one. I also got these amazing jeans in size 38, which I'll exchange for 36 as well because they are very stretchy and uh, 38 is a bit um, baggy on me and they're supposed to be skinny jeans so I exchanged these for 36 but I really liked the stud detail on them I'm sorry about this noise guys I think you can hear it they're doing some work outside um, there is a big truck these corduroy navy blue trousers actually they're like culottes they're amazing high-waisted only wish I could put belts on them these I got in size small and these are actually quite oversized. I was gonna go for extra small, but they didn't have extra small. Um, actually, extra small is available online, so I might actually bring these back and get an extra small because these run so big. Guys, if you're size six or eight, I don't know if um, any of these will fit. They might be very big on you. Zara, please fix your sizing. 
<laughs> so next is this gorgeous skirt I know it's a bit uh, much for every day but I really like it um, with a with an oversized jumper this skirt will look amazing it has sequins it was very expensive actually it was 70 pounds I got mine in a medium but this is the skirt I really like it and I'll try this one on as well all right this is it <laughs> uh, you thought there is more <laughs> didn't you well, um, I also bought this jumper from Misguided. Uh, I'm not sure if this one is still available though. I'll try to find it and link it down below. It's actually much better quality than I expected. It's, um, what was this material? I can't remember now. I'll put it somewhere on the screen, but it's this like very soft velvety material, which I love. But on the website, it doesn't look like this material. It looks like a normal like knitted um, jumper but it's actually very like plush and soft and I really like it it's actually slightly cropped but with high-waisted jeans it will look amazing and I really like the color of it as well such a cool pink color all right guys this is it I really hope oh no I forgot I picked up something else okay I picked up something else hold on I just saw these on the floor I picked up these shoes they're amazing look at the color is it showing I really hope it's showing it's such a beautiful color so this is the vlog I really hope you enjoyed it guys come follow me on my social media platforms which you can see here on the screen everything that I showed you will be linked down below in the description box let me know what you think of this video I was a bit chatty the other day when I was doing my makeup so let me know if you enjoy these chatty videos and vlogs and I'll see you in my next one bye now I'm on a mission to find a bag that's the same color in velvet um, I think I've seen one from YSL and it is quite similar to the color of these boots this color is everything I really hope it's showing on the camera but it's not